Yo, what up guys, it's been quite some time since I have played a different game, apart from Apex. So, let me get straight to the point. I am going to be playing Ryzen Zero Dawn from beginning to the end. And for those of you asking or wondering, am I going to play a new game or new game plus? Well, sorry, I am going to play a new game plus. Because, yeah, this might be me sounding lazy, but it's more like it's a pain in the ass to do it. So I'm just going to start a new game plus because I already have all of my gear and stuff with me. So, um, no, screw it, I'm just going to keep it on normal. For those of you that are wondering, I have completed this thing on story, easy, normal, hard, very hard, and ultra hard. And trust me when I say this, Ultra Heart is a very big pain to do. I mean, your weapons barely do anything. But I'm going to do it on normal. For those of you that haven't played this game before, I recommend playing Story Mode. Not because I think you can't handle it, no, on the opposite. It's simply because this game is so beautiful. Like, the pixels to the art to literally everything is so beautiful about this game so i highly recommend you play it on story mode just for a couple of hours interact with the things see the world you know do it like this play the game until you get to the part where you have access to the entire map after that explore the map see what there is to see just experience it a little bit and afterwards if you want to change the difficulty by all means go for it Although I don't think you can change it to ultra hard. I think you have to start. No, you have to finish the game once on any difficulty. Then you unlock ultra hard. And then once you start the game on ultra hard, you cannot change it off that difficulty. It sticks. Alright. Now, man. I've played, like I said, I've played this game for a long time. Rust. And quite a few times. <clears throat> This is how it starts, by the way. Rust? If you're gonna play the game for the very, very, Rust? very first time, it's not gonna start like this. Where is he? If you start a new game plus, it'll always start like this. Me? He wouldn't do that. Yeah, the, these pop-ups are just the stupid weapons I have, and now the tutorials of how to do them. But I'm sick. It's just these things. So yeah. Also, there is a trophy apparently in this game where you have to shoot all of all of these things. Wait, is that actually the trophy or is it something else? I don't think it's this. Okay, wait, just quickly hold on. Can you knock this stuff over? Okay, you can. Okay, so the trophy is this. Oh, what the? Okay, that was a lag. Apparently, if you knock over, I think, 24 of these guys, or something like that. I can't remember the exact amount, but you have to knock over a ton of them. See, my game is more based on smoothness than I mean, performance than it is he for the views and everything. Why isn't he here? Where's I'm going to leave it like that because it doesn't look too bad at the moment, so I'll just leave it as is. If it gets worse though, like I've, I see in the first video, it's pretty shitty and not that beautiful, then I'll change it. I mean, quickly just, just look at this. Standing there. What's going on with him? The amount of time that had to be put into this game is nuts, man. Nuts. Some of you also might be wondering, why am I playing this bloody old game? Why am I not doing the newer one? Well, I decided I'll do the first one and then the second one. That's why. Aloy, you're here. Okay, yeah, so you get this in both the games. You get to choose options. You can go whatever you do, whatever you want to. When Let's you said back. we were going to go hunting, I didn't realize you meant I'd have to track you down. We also, our face doesn't really look I've like that. It's just, training, I can put up um, tattoos and 
makeup. Yeah, I fear like, a lesson I like like he's marked. I can put up marks for myself Would as you well. Learn it now? Of course, I'll <clears throat> always learn what you have to teach. There has been some trouble recently. It affords an opportunity to learn this lesson, but it will be dangerous. You must come prepared, or you will die. Also, Descend another little warning. Hunt until you've gathered the parts I pondered this decision for quite fire a while. Arrows. What kind of trouble are we talking about? Once you have the parts, you will meet me there. At the gate you can't beyond... skip things by the gate. Uh, like that. At the edge of the embrace? Yes. Now be on your way. Is something else bothering you? No. Sometimes you can ask extra things. Like... Yeah. Anything else you want Another me to mission. do while I'm down in the embrace? Oh. Uh, Odd Grotta might be out of food by now. You could hunt a week's worth of meat for her, if you find the time. <sighs> Wouldn't mind if she'd say thanks just once. <sighs> Grotta follows the law. Her science towards us is honorable, not an insult. If you say so. Yeah, okay, so... Um... Are you worrying about what happens after the proving? What happens is clear. You will be accepted as one of the tribe, and I will still be an outcast to be shunned. Ross, even yeah. if the tribe accepts I'll me, I will. I'll explain why much that is do. now in a few seconds. We'll discuss this later. <sighs> okay. I'll go gather the parts, but I'm also going to pay Karst to visit. Aloy, that man breaks the law every time he speaks to you. <sighs> and I'm glad he does. I want to buy a trip caster, and no other trader will sell to outcasts. Stock it with ammunition, then. You'll find use for that weapon tonight. That sounds ominous. All right, see you at the North Gate. <laughs> I've got what I need. Time okay. to meet Rost at the North Gate. Now, I'm going to give a few spoilers about the history of their stuff. So, if you've not played this game before... I recommend you put off the audio and skip it until you see me jump off this rope. Once I'm jumping on the rope, you can listen to what I'm gonna say again. Okay, for those of you who want to hear the spoilers, there's a little something I have here. So, the old, the entire old outcasting of their tribe and everything is as such. If you're born, apparently, without a mother or a father, they see you as an outcast. If you break their laws, they make you an outcast. Of course, you give warnings and stuff, but they basically kick you out and you're to be shunned. Now, the thing is, Aloy, she had no mother or father. And because of that, it's they don't really know what to make of her. She appeared, apparently, in their sacred mountain or some shit like that. And because of it, they just... They don't know what to do with her, so... They gave her to Ross, the guy standing here next to me, and he was supposed to take care of her. That at a certain age, he has to climb the mountain somewhere. I don't know at what mountain, but he has somewhere to climb a mountain, stand next to a tree, hold her in his arms, and then speak the child's name. That's their tradition of naming their kids. And... The three elders, well, okay, there are three elders. One of the three elders did not like this one bit, and, well, they tried to stop him. Very pathetically to be said, though. And so, yeah. But with this now, if she can, shall we say, pass a certain trial, she can actually be accepted by her tribe again, and then she'll no longer be shunned. So yeah, there we go. Something's really bothering him. If he thinks I'm going to abandon him, he's wrong. All right. Also, there was something else I wanted to say before all that, but I highly forgot what I wanted to say. Um. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Okay. So I pondered the decision for quite a bit, whether I should do the like story mode and just bug off everything else don't bother with it or whether i should do the side quest first or both and then i decided you know what screw it i'm gonna do it my way the way i always done it and that is through literally 
exploring the entire map first. So that means I will go. I, I know it's going to be a pain, but I'll go to almost all of the areas. Like, almost. I'll go to every campfire because I can fast travel to them. But as to every animal site, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see about that. We'll see about that. But yeah, there you have it. So I'll explore everything first as far as I can. For the time being, I literally can't explore because I'm an outcast. If you're an outcast in the game, you can't explore. So first, I need to be accepted. Then I need to get special permission. And after I get that permission, I'll be able to access all of this up to this point here. But I won't be able to go further than this point. It's going to block me off. Then I need to do a certain mission again, and then it'll give me access to all of this. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's going to take a while to complete this game. But while I am in this little place, I'll do what I can. So first thing is, I'll talk to old Odd Grotter. I always say old Grotter, but it's actually Odd Grotter. The embrace. My whole life I've never gone beyond this valley. Also, my armor is a bit That'll special because everything. it can block a certain amount of damage. Two days until I get answers. That would have killed days. me if I didn't wear the armor. So, yeah, I be careful. Also, if any of you have been watching the subtitles there, you would have gotten a little bit of a spoiler just now. For those of you that did not listen to what I said before I jumped off the rope. If you did not, though, and you don't want to hear spoilers, I recommend you do not turn back and rewind time, because you want to keep it a surprise. Alright, on we go. Oh yeah, in this game, you have a little focus that... It's almost like binoculars or a tracking thing where it can show you, hey, okay, this is there. If any of you play Call of Duty Black Ops, you know the thing where it shows you the enemies and stuff? Think of it like that, but just much more advanced. In grass like this, you can hide, you blend in. You'll also have to collect the materials you need. You don't just get them. You can buy them, of course, but they're going to be quite expensive. Speaking of... Before I forget about this... Um, this is herbs you can use to heal yourself. I, You'll see there on the top left, it's my health, it's blue, that blue is my shield. And then at the underside of that blue bar is a little green bar. That green bar is the amount of herbs I have with me. Before we continue, um, okay yeah, so these are the skills you can get. You'll see most of them have already been unlocked, thanks to New Game Plus. I'll go over them so you can see what is what, so you can just get the hang of it. And sorry for the fucking annoyance behind me. Um, okay, so silent strike, pretty much what it says. Perform a silent strike, take down on small machines and humans, or deal high damage to medium enemies. Strike from above, pretty much the same as it sounds. You kill somebody while you're on a higher ground then. Whether it's to jump off over them or just to be on an edge. Then strike from below. Same. Strike any. This will only work on humans. So be aware on that. And then leader strike. To perform a silent takedown on a heavy and elite human enemies. <clears throat> Moving on. Hunter reflexes. To slow down time while aiming. Show Time slows while aiming near a jump or a slide as shown then balanced aim you, to aim while you while on a rope or while just balancing on something it doesn't have to be a rope it can be a tree branch as well then strong strike 15 damage increase to strike attacks and it counts for all of the items there at the bottom then strong strike plus 30 percent damage to increase to strike attacks yeah i said that word don't care Silent drop. You can drop behind enemies silently. You'll do a little wall and they won't even know you're there. 
low profile if you're crouched the enemies won't really see you even if you walk in front of them as shown on the right then dodge prowess hold circle for a long dodge roll or tap or short short dodge roll then quiet sprint to literally run behind a machine without them even knowing okay just just a quick little uh advice about this your armor make a big big difference in this because if your armor is metallic or rattles a lot they will hear you because the armor i have on now is metal so they actually hear the metal clinking so be aware of that then concentration if you press the r3 button into while aiming you can slow down time for a specific specified amount of time and then you can do damage to certain parts of the enemies or just get a better aim Heavy lifter, you can pick up heavy machines weapons like the cannons you shoot off machines or the cannons humans use that like elite human means. All right, concentration plus self-explanatory then fast reload. It lets you reload faster while using concentration. Critical hit. If you down an enemy and they're in a state of drowsiness, shock or just off balance you can go for the finishing kill then critical hit plus this does damage to it kills off any small machines some medium-sized machines as well depending on the amount of damage they have left then double shot as it says you can shoot two arrows at a time triple shot same three arrows at a time precision by using the light spear attacks you can knock off armor or components of machines then precision plus light spear attacks have a greatly increased chance to knock off armor or components knock down heavy spear attacks will knock down machines faster it's this attack you use to knock them down and to critical strike them by the way fight back heavy spear attacks deal increased damage when aloy's health is low but when Aloy's health is low, it also means that there is a chance you could not time your attack properly and die. So be aware. Then lure call. Using the icon from the tools menu to lure a single enemy to your position. The target will be closest, most of centered in Aloy's view. So the, the target that's in the center of Aloy's view will be the one attack, attracted. Not the one on the right or the left or the back, the one in the front, closest, in the center. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I need to do a few things before I can show these. Then, healer. Speeds up healing from the medicine pouch. Pretty much self explanatory. Herbalist doubles the capacity of the medicine pouch. That's the reason why there were three little health, um, sorry, not health bars, three little crossbars at the bottom of that green bar of mine is because I have this skill. Disarm traps. If you come across traps, you can disarm them. Then tinkerer. Weapon coils and outfit waves can now be removed and refused. Sorry, reused, my bad. Usually when you add something to your bow or your armor, you can take it off, which means if you sell it, you lose it. But now you can take it off. Pretty handful in the beginning for beginners, basically. Gather additional ra natural resources while foraging. Scavenger. Chance for extra resources when lo looting down machines. Ammo crafter. Craft additional ammo from the same amount of resources. And then scavenger plus. Honestly, I can't tell you the amount of times scavenger plus have like really actually saved my life in this game. Because sometimes you're a bit unlucky your, your stuff runs out in the middle of a fight you have to loot the dead carcass get stuff and you can just go on but they're not necessarily enough to actually allow you to craft again this scavenger plus comes in real handy for that now these three prowler brave and forager those three areas you only get them if you have horizon zero dawn if you have the frozen wilds add-on you can get the traveler side so short scavenger 
disable resources modifications into 50% of their metal shard value. Expert Carver. Increase chance to loot skins, bones, lenses, and hearts. Hoarder. Increase resources inventory slots by 20%. Now, of course, after I get the certain mission to be done, I'll come back and show the rest. Now, let's continue. As you can see, one shot to the eye, they're basically dead. Also, if you come across a machine, probably scan it first. If, if it's dead and you haven't looted it yet, there's a chance, a little chance, they will give you the um, specs for the machine. Otherwise, not so much. I'm injured. I need your help. And you can jump almost on any cliff area as long as she gets a foothold. Alright, what do you want? You... Want to talk to an outcast? I'm desperate for help. Whatever the consequences. What's the problem then? Trouble with your leg? Forget about me. It's my daughter, Arana. She's in danger. She went after a scrapper near Mother's Cradle. And I fear for her life. I can't even stand up, let alone go after her. Will you help me find her? Uh, now, like, see, you get a few extra options. You can ask questions. If you don't want to ask questions, just go straight for the mission. But in this, because it's the game I'm playing, and for those of you that won't ever play the game, but you want to see what the game is about, I'll ask every single question and you let you hear it through to the end. Cast you out for speaking to me, don't you? I don't care. I tried looking for her myself, and my leg gave out. Just find her. I'll Another spoiler was just given there. Safe. You can ask the same question over and over and over if you want, but I ain't going Why would to. your daughter hunt a scrapper on her own? It's my fault. I went after it first and it tore up my leg. I barely got away and I left a spear impaled in the machine. That spear was made by Adina, my mate, who died last year. It means everything to Arana. She. Those of you haven't figured it out yet, back. he's mate, in other words, he's wife. You said Arana went to Mother's Cradle? Yes. Southeast of here. I forbid her from going, but ever since her mother died, she's become impossible. Damn it, look at me. A widower now a cripple. A father that can't find his daughter. Please, help me set things right. I'll do what I can to help your daughter. Make sure she's all right. I'm begging you. All right, new quest fanatic. If you look in the top center of the screen, you see the little eye. It shows your awareness for machines. Now, me running like this with the stealth skill of running, it should show that amount. Just one stripe while running. But instead it shows two. So, yeah. And as you can see, Invisible. I'm not there. Alright. Let's continue, shall we? Forgot how sensitive my sensitivity in this game is. I'll get used to it again, though. Okay, so, just for the record, I'm not gonna explore everything now, because I'll rather wait until I get access to all of this. Once I have access, I'll come and explore everything, I promise. I'll even go to every freaking animal site. And to be honest, it won't be a bad thing because I do kind of need the resources. I'm kind of low on resources. Okay, I say that, but I'm low on some resources, like this. I only have six! That ain't enough! Also, you can see on the right side, it shows everything. Used for what, where to get it, and what type of material is it? Common. I can show you at the top. It's a heart. It literally says the machine, what part it is, 
where you get it, what you use it for. At the very right, it says its value, and it also says right below its names what type it is. Rare. Very rare, which, in other words, would be epic. And that's about the highest rarity you'll get is per, um, epic resources. So, yeah. Okay, now, take my advice for this. If you're going to play this game, try to get this. Because if you don't, you're going to suck at traveling. Because this golden fast travel pack allows you to fast travel to any place in the world with zero costs. If you don't have this, you have to create fast travel packs every time you want to go. And I think you can carry, what, a max of 5 or 10? And just for the record... What? You're stronger than a freaking machine. You kill animals for materials. Boar skin, rich meat, fatty meat, bony meat. Good Take meat. Off. I can I heard this woman years. There she is. And it, if you scan over something, it shows you long enough what it is. Get into a dark spot so you can see what it shows. Groda, human. Hello, Grotta. Oh, mother. Since I was cast out. Have I not been constant as the river flows? Have I not kept the vows as the stone stir? Hmm. Show me your grace, all mother, and provide for me once more. Good news, Grata. Once again, All Mother has brought you rabbits. All Mother, your voice cracks like the distant thunder. I hear the songs of grief, All Mother. I would join the call, but I left my prayer beads atop the eastern overlook. I am afraid. Wait at your camp for me, Grata. I'll see what I can do. Okay, so, for those of you who haven't figured it out yet, the supposed All Mother is the religion these guys worship. Kind of stupid, but yeah. I mean, in... Okay. Not being cynical or anything like that of the sort. Just me speaking out loud. In a way... <sighs> He's they say the Earth is the mother of all, but I don't really believe that. So, if they say all mother, what are they actually worshipping? Are they worshipping the planet? Or what? It's just... Uh, I don't know. But either ways. If you didn't see this guy at first, you will run past him anyway, so don't worry. Also, as you can see, campfires lit up green on the map. Once you've explored them. If they're not, they'll just be greyish. Campfire discovered. There you go. Go to the Oberlin Clyde. Wait, that Great lady is old as fire. hell. Oh. Excuse you. Shut up. Bye bye. Also, you see these yellow ropes? Those are the stuff that usually give you indicator you can climb on them. So remember that. And. Oh. Drop off, thank you. Remember the rope? You can aim on them. If you have the skill. If you have the skill. Grotta may be devout, but it takes strong arms to reach the overlook the fast way. Yeah, so, how the hell did she get here? Because she's an old lady. Wait, no, wrong way, my bad. I hear machines fighting. Fighting what? Sounds like a watcher. Uh, here we go. I don't understand why they couldn't just put up there and straight up, but alright. 
I'll show you guys in a few seconds something where if you forget about the machines and their parts, what you can use to get rid of them, what weaknesses they have, where you can go and look for it. Wait. One of those sounds like a Ravager. I mean, not not a Ravager. Uh, e oh. What the hell is the thing's name again? What are they hunting out there? Beyond the embrace. That, that's where we're gonna be going soon enough, by the way. This looks promising. Aha. Okay, let me quickly show you. Here we go. Machines. These are all the machines you're going to get. So if you forget something about them, you can always come back here to see them. It says literally everything about it. On the left side, it says the cauldron where you can override these guys. You will be at some point be able to control them. And I don't mean like you can see what they see and move their bodies as if it's your own. No, you'll just be able to turn them to your side so they won't attack you. That's about it. So on the left side, it shows you at which cauldron you need to go to override them. And then in the center, it shows all their components and parts. Body. On the right side, it shows the weaknesses and strength. It has no weakness. It has no strength. The eye, weakness to everything, strength to none. And now you see the loot you can get from the materials. And that's about it. Right. Grata's prayer beads. <clears throat> I see why she comes up here to pray. Yeah, I should have pondered with them. I mean, looked at you for a little, little bit longer, but uh, uh, that would probably take my shield off. Oh, not so much, actually. Wait, shouldn't that just been a stealthy roll? What's wrong with you? Yeah, we have a strider. In other words, a horse. Look at me. I don't really need both of you coming my way. I know I'm here now. Not a single word about my aiming there. I know it was shit. Nice. Oh yeah, these guys will sometimes charge as well. And if you get a chance to pull your back your bow back fully like that. Then, if they charge you, they'll usually just fall over, so don't worry about it. Also, this bow of mine is a bit more special than the original bow. You won't get this type of bow until you go into the frozen wild at least once. Uh, now I have to climb this entire place again. I don't really bother gathering any other plants because you only either make medicine with them or other potions. Like, see on the bottom left, I just switched that type of stuff. You make potions and stuff like that. Traps, potion, potion, potion. It's pretty much it. There's Grata, all alone with all mother. The only way she knows. Wait. Am I being stupid? Yes, I am. Okay. Quickly listen closely to what this woman's about to say, alright? Here are your prayer beads, Grata. Now you have what you need. All mother. Each morning I find your tears of joy speckling the leaves. Joy at the beauty of all you have made. See how I cry now with you in gratitude. Right, so you'll cry for her, but you won't speak to me. Fine. Guess that makes you the better outcast. 
Grata, I may not be around much for a while. I'm gonna run in the proving, and I'm not sure what's gonna happen after that. Oh, Mother, I thank you for the kindnesses you share. When the proving comes, in your great wisdom, <clears throat> may you give favor to a brave of generous heart. I think I get what you're saying. Goodbye, Grata. For now. See, even in her oh, own mother, crazy way, she is rooting for her. How kind. Alright. Might regret this. Dark Ape. <laughs> I wish this thing had the sliding function of paper. It doesn't. No. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's do this little quest as well. Just quickly see what it says. Oh yeah, these are all the freaking tutorials, and I'm not gonna be bothered with them. They can stay tutorials because I'm really not gonna do them. Oh yeah, you go to campfires to save. Go to manual save or quick save. The game auto saves at, as on its own from time to time, so you don't have to worry. But yeah, fun little fact for those of you that are curious: this was the very first a... game like I ever played on my PS4. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Three out of four, what? Where the hell's the other one? It is times like yes, your focus comes in handy. Finish them off. Oh, there you, are. you can mark them and even the path they would walk. Those watchers were gonna tear me apart. Your father sent me after you. It's time to go home. I figured. But I can't go back until I get my mother's spear from that scrapper. Yeah, typical. That All right. to you. Let me up. My mother made it not long before she died. I can't believe my father lost it. He didn't mean to. Scrappers are dangerous. I know. I just can't stand the idea that it might be gone forever. Your father is worried sick about you. But he those of you that don't know yet, in the bushes. He just, I'll give you a little heads he up. You, Scrappers are like hyenas. So much. <clears throat> but they only eat metal. How did so, you end up in that tree? Yeah. I tracked the scrapper to once, I, once you see one, I'll tell you a little bit more about it. And called his pack. <clears throat> oh, mother, I'm just not a good enough hunter to get that spear back, am I? All right, let's go get it. I'll look for your spear. You will? Oh, Once you interact you. with him, he can't go actually say no. Well, His leg gave out at least not to most of them. Of oh no. Okay, I'll go to him right away. Thanks again. And off she goes. Highlight tracks. All right, for real. Do you think you'd be able to track this? Without the focus, okay, maybe this part, but there will be some parts that it runs on grass or like through the water. You won't even realize it, and then the track will still be there. You just go to the other side and pick them up again. 
like this. You can barely see most of these tracks. Verona's trail ends here. Must be where she saw the scrapper. If I follow its tracks, I should be able to find that spear. Tracks. Right. Oh, okay, well, I'm gonna ignore that. Like this. See, oh, you will never be able to track it through the water. Let's see it climbing up there, though. Okay. You know, one of the two animals that are the most difficult to hunt in this game are owls and. Um, what the hell is the thing's name? Not raccoons. Not rabbits. Squirrels. Owls and squirrels. Or birds in particular. But the turkey doesn't count. If they can fly, it bothers them to hunt them. There. Time to get that spear. Thank you. Come on, and now you can jump this. Or maybe not. Okay, so that's a scrapper. They're like hyenas. If there is metal laying around somewhere, then they will come and collect it. A well-made weapon. Arana will be happy to have it. I could just leave, but I don't want to just yet. Oh, got a heart from that one. <clears throat> They basically dissect broken down machines, take the important parts, or if not all of the parts, and just do whatever they want with them. <clears throat> so, I know some of you want me to use different weapons, but I'm not going to, not yet. That being said, I'm going to check something. Oh yeah, okay, I'm thinking ahead of myself right now. How the hell does that hurt you? Anyways. Uh, let's get back to them. Hmm. Up. Yeah, I, I, I stopped it. I ran over a fucking road, but I didn't really realize. Also, fish are one of the animals you also struggle to catch because you, you just don't really find them that easy. Speaking of finding, the armor I'm wearing right now is special because if you want this armor, you okay? Um, you need to gather I think four power cells. Was it five? I can't quite remember. I think it's four. I think it's four. But after you have the four power cells, you can. Go to the room this armor is stored in, and then you can get it. All you have to do is the armor is interact with it, and then Aloy will on her own 
make armor out of it. So you don't have to worry about that. <clears throat> I won't lie, the first time I played this game, I actually struggled because the TV I was playing on was very bad. I could barely see the amount of detail from here to this rock. I couldn't I couldn't see it. TV's pixels were basically 140 pixels, and that amount of pixels don't do good with this game. First you send a Rana back to me, and now you've got the spear. When I first called out to you for help, I didn't even know if you'd speak to me. I'm glad you did. Me too. I can't believe you got the spear back. Your mother knew how to craft them. It's of exceptional make. I'll never be the crafter she was, but she did pass along a few tricks. I'd be happy to take a look at your spear. Thank you. It sounds like she was special. I'm sorry for your loss. Well, because of you, I still have the spear to remember her by. You didn't have to help us, but you did. She would have admired that. Thank you, Aloy, for everything. Okay, so you can speak to him again, but nothing's really gonna happen. Just a show. When I think what it would have been like if I had lost Arana, I... Thank you, Halo. That's about it. <clears throat> Wait, did you really just give me another spear? Okay, no, you didn't. Okay, good. Also, if you usually need something, you come here and craft it. While I'm here, this, this very, sorry, this very reason is the reason why I don't want to start a completely new game. It's not because I don't mind the exploring or the gathering of materials. Okay, it, the gathering of materials is a bit annoying. But it's because of this. The upgrades of the satchels, pouches, and all of this. Uh, anyone that plays this game is going to go through this shitty task. And it's going to be a pain in the ass. For each one of these, you need to hunt down animals i don't know not machines i mean actual animals gather specific parts to upgrade them and trust me when i say this you struggle you really struggle because you can make it a mission you can make the materials a mission but as soon as you activate that mission all the animals you need parts for just disappear off the map they're just gone as soon as you put it off as no as a non-mission again, they appear everywhere. It's like the game is trying to taunt you. But even then, when it isn't on, you still struggle to find the animals when you actually want them. And honestly, that's just the pain. I don't know if I actually want to fight these guys right now. You know what? No bow. Spear only. Are you joking? Good. Come here! Denied. Oh, mistimed. Come on, get up, get up, get up. Come here. No, 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 come here. Come here. You die. Also, you can use rocks to lure enemies to you and away from you, but I don't really use them in this game. If you were to play the new Ryzen, Ryzen, um, Ryzen for Baron West, 
then the only way to attract enemies would be through rocks. So, yeah. Oh, right, 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 right. Before I forget, you actually need to go there first. I'm just going to fast travel there. <clears throat> because I already have fire arrows. Just because I'm shunned doesn't I don't really pass through. I have to go um, to this place. But because I have fire arrows right here, I don't really have to go to this place. I'm just doing it for for those of you that are wondering. Also, remember, Aloy also says you want to buy something from this guy. Ooh, I see a target. Get down! Any more around? No? What is that? Alright, so this is the guy. Well, 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 an outcast on my doorstep, all mother protect me. Surprised you saw me the way you keep looking every other direction to make sure no one's watching. <laughs> Careful there, or you'll sprain your neck. It's always a pain in the neck when you show up, girl, one way or another. <laughs> Is there a reason why you're acting so cranky today? Once you run the proving and get made a brave, you'll deal with traitors in mother's heart. Maybe I don't like losing customers. Traitors who don't break the law and deal with outcasts, you mean? That's right. Our days of crime will be behind us, so long as you keep quiet. Hmm. Okay, well, now I can basically trade. This is what they... This is what they wanted you to buy. A trip caster. But I'm not going to, because I don't need it. I have something better. They get a sling. As always, it shows everything. What you need for it. To how many modifications you can have. Put on it to the handling and what types of ammo it uses. A rope caster isn't a bad thing either. It comes in nifty when dealing with hard to get to enemies or ones that like to run away from you. War bow, sharp shot bow, and then of course the rarity goes up over time. This is what you would have come to buy had you been playing the game for the very first time. And also, if you had enough money. But I got plenty of it. Well, not really. <laughs> then you can also, like I said, buy materials. There's nothing really I want to buy from this guy. It shows on the top or middle right the amount of owned. I don't really have much blaze. Screw it. I have 200. Alright, that's enough. Then you can buy a few extra things fire resistance, shock trap, explosive trap, health potion, full health potion. Then you can buy ammo, treasure chests. I don't really use them, but I. And if you had sold something, you can buy them back here. For instance, I don't need. Oh, no, 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 I need that. I don't need any of those though. Bye bye. These are all my weapons I have. The armor I wish I could sell. Yeah, I'm not really gonna keep these either. I can. I'll see in a few moments if I can use this. And yeah, like I said, if you sell something, you can buy them back here. Now that you've got your, my life's exciting enough without a Shit, bunch of sorry. shock wire uh, booby traps to trip trink. over. Really? Could have fooled me. <sighs> uh, Will you, you be want? around later in case I want to make another trade? I'll be here. Uh, same as usual, bring me the parts you harvest from any machines you hunt. The better the parts, the more shards I'll pay. Uh, be sure to take a close look at my inventory, though. Who knows? Maybe I've got something that could give you an edge in the proving. Oh boy. It's almost been an hour. Freaking hell. Alright. Are you worried I'm going to tell someone okay, that you so trade with outcasts? Before I, I end this episode, I will go back to Ross. You never know. 
Uh, just you before I start warning. the main mission, safe with me. I'll yeah, stop it I there think. and I'll start a new one. Hearing it. I'll upload two videos for once, the so you know what happens at the very first mission at the least. Yeah, and well, yeah, so you can like just you can get a few ideas even of it. If you wanted to. Law and duty sort of a man, that Rost. Huh. I don't know how you stand yeah, it. Yeah, Rost is kind you of really a... don't know why he was cast out? I Push up told you rules. no. I don't think anyone knows what he did, but it must have been serious because his term is for life. Why do you take the risk, trading with outcasts? Every time you ask. If a big, meaningful talk is what you're after, move along. It's because you used to be one, isn't it? Yeah. Got caught poking around one of the metal ruins out beyond the embrace. Matriarch said I'll explain the next episode what years. the metal ruins are. What did you see in the ruins? Nothing I can make sense of. After my shunning, I tried living back in Mother's heart, but everyone I knew had moved on, and there were so many people everywhere I turned. I like it better out here. I guess okay. that concludes our business. All right. Good luck in the proving. Blessing of all mother and all that. All right. Then to quickly fast travel back. <clears throat> all right. So this is where I'm going to end today's episode. And I'll start the very next one speaking of Wrath. I'll upload this episode and the episode after that on the same day so you can at least get an idea of what the game is really about. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed. Until next time, bye.